Welcome there. I hope you're all doing great. Today we'll be talking about the top 10 most dangerous wolves in the world. But before we begin, please press the subscribe button on your screen. Your subscription will immensely help us to grow our channel and we'll be able to provide you with more interesting and informative videos. And please don't forget to press the bell icon. You'll be notified as soon as we upload another unique video. Wolves are dangerously beautiful creatures of God. They are fast, furious, cunning, and aggressive. They are born to hunt. Humans always have the eagerness to know more about this interesting hunter. That's why we can see different forms and types of wolves in numerous fantasy movies. Whether for kids or for adults, these fantasy movies on wolves have made us all curious about these notorious hunters. According to scientists, there are mainly two categories of wolves that exist in the world. There are gray wolves and red wolves. Although there are many subcategories of wolves available in different regions of the world, these wolves differ in sizes, colors, behaviors, and most importantly, in their hunting skills. Today in this video, we will talk about some of the most dangerous wolves in the world. Number 10 on the list are the Arctic Wolves. We will start our list of the top 10 dangerous wolves in the world with the Arctic Wolves. It is also known as the Polar Wolf or the White Wolf. These wolves are mainly found in the native areas of Queen Elizabeth Island. They freely roam all over from Melville Island to Ellesmere Island. Arctic wolves are mainly a subspecies of the gray wolves. They are mostly white in color and tinier than the gray wolves. Although Arctic wolves are quite shy in nature, just like any other big carnivores, Arctic wolves can prove to be dangerous to human beings. The main food of the Arctic wolves is the Arctic hare and musk oxen. They also eat different types of birds, foxes, lemmings, beetles, and caribou. Number 9 on the list are the Iberian Wolves. This kind of wolf is popularly known as the Spanish Wolves. As a subspecies of the large gray wolves, they possess quite a few similarities to the big hunter gray wolves, although they have some differences too. These wolves are native to the northwest of the Iberian Peninsula. That's the main reason behind their name. You can find most of the Iberian wolves in the northwestern part of Spain and in northern Portugal. Let me tell you an interesting fact about the Iberian wolves. The hunting of Iberian wolves is legal in Spain. Although the hunting area is strictly limited, many hunters spend a lot of time trying to add another stone to their trophy by hunting one of these highly aggressive animals. Number 8 on the list is the Mexican wolf. Well, as the name suggests, you'll find this aggressive wolf near and around Mexico. Actually, the main habitats of Mexican wolves are southern Mexico, northern Mexico, and southeastern Arizona. They were also found in western Texas, although this endangered species of wolves are extinct from this area. Mexican wolves are the smallest subspecies of the wolf species. They possess many resemblances to the Great Plain wolves, although the Great Plain wolves are extinct from the earth. But you can have a close view of that extinct category just by looking at the Mexican wolves. These wolves are also known as lobo. They are an extremely endangered species of wolf. In 1977, the United States and Mexican government had taken an initiative to breed more Mexican wolves in captivity with only five Mexican wolves. Then they were released into their native areas to grow and learn in nature. Number seven is the Eurasian wolves. This species of wolf is quite abundant in numbers comparing other species. They are known in different names in different geographical areas. The names include European Wolf, Common Wolf, Steppes Wolf, Chinese Wolf, Carpathian Wolf, Tibetan Wolf, etc. You can imagine the span of their geographical habitat by the diversity of their popular names. You can find these dangerous animals in large numbers in Asian and European countries. They are mostly found in the Himalayan mountains, Russia, China, Scandinavia, Europe, and Mongolia. They are the largest species among the hunter wolves. They live and hunt in small packs. They are cunning, aggressive, dangerous, and have great leading and hunting skills. That's why these species have a high influence in ancient Greek, Roman, Baltic, Slavic, Celtic, and German culture and mythology. Number six on the list is the British Columbian wolves. How can we forget to mention the great British Columbian wolves while talking about the dangerous wolves of different times and areas? They used to roam all over British Columbia, like the King. They were also found in different parts of southern Alaska, Alberta, and Yukon. The tundra and forest localities of British Columbia were the favorite living space. 
but too much hunting has made them extinct from these areas. Now you can find only a few British Columbian wolves in some specific parts of Alaska, Canada, and the United States only. These natural hunters live in packs. Their packs can be as small as two wolves or as big as 30 wolves. Although they kill only to survive or in fear of danger, they are great hunters. Number five on the list is the Alexander Archipelago wolves. Well, the name might not sound so familiar to you, but they have a reputation as a dangerous animal. They can also be recognized as the island wolves as we can find them mostly in coastal areas of southeastern Alaska. They are quite small as wolves, but their hunting skills outreach their size. As their living area is filled with sea animals and mammals, they are always on the journey to sharpening their hunting skills. Number four on the list is the Alaskan Tundra Wolf. These wolves are the perfect example when we think about dangerous beauty. These large and charming white wolves are so alluring that it is extremely difficult to not look at them twice. But be careful to do so. They can be really dangerous to the human. Being calmly cunning and dangerously aggressive in nature, they can attack you without thinking twice. Alaskan tundra wolves are also known as the barren ground wolves as they can be found in a large number in the barren grounds of Arctic coastal tundra locality. As a large-sized carnivore animal, Alaskan tundra wolves live on different large mammals. For example, mountain sheep, deer, moose, bison, caribou, muskox, wapiti, etc. are the regular food of Alaskan tundra wolves. Number three on the list is the Arabian wolves. As the name suggests, you can find this type of wolf in the Arab region. They are basically desert wolves who live mostly in the Negev Desert, the Arabian Peninsula, the Sinai Peninsula, and Jordan. Some people consider Arabian wolves the smallest species of wolves. Wolves are known as carnivore animals, but Arabian wolves are omnivores. These types of animals eat medium-sized prey as their natural behavior. Along with that, they also eat different food elements, garbage, and carrions. As a small wolf subspecies, Arabian wolves don't weigh more than 20 to 22 kilograms. But don't be fooled by their size. They walk with the pack and often attack live animals in the local farms. And if you are alone in front of them, you can become their prey too. Number two is the Labrador wolves. Labrador wolves are dangerous hunters, but right now they are in danger of extinction. They are a subspecies of the great gray wolves. The habitat localities of these types of wolves are very limited. You can find only a few Labrador wolves in some particular parts of Labrador and northern Quebec. Labrador wolves are quite heavy. A full-aged Labrador wolf can weigh around 30 to 35 kilograms. They are either gray or white in color. Despite being so less in numbers, you can find reports about Labrador wolves attacking livestock animals, including cattle, sheep, cows, etc. They live mainly on feeding caribou and white-tailed deer. These types of wolves don't come around humans or attack them unless they are feared or disturbed. But if they do, it's hard to escape. Number one on the list of the top 10 dangerous wolves in the world is the Northwestern Wolves. These wolves are also known as the Rocky Mountain Wolves, Canadian Timber Wolves, Alaskan Timber Wolf, and Mackenzie Valley Wolves. They are an aggressive subspecies of the great gray wolves who are extremely dangerous to humans and other small or medium-sized animals. They can be found mostly in Western North America. That's the reason behind the name of these wolves. These wolves are the largest species of wolves. They can weigh from 39 to 70 kilograms. Despite being so heavy, these creatures are very fast and can attack you without giving you any warning. How do you like the video? Was it at least a bit helpful to fulfill your interest? Please let me know in the comments section. And if you liked the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Some of these types are almost near extinction. As a concerning citizen, it is our duty not to hunt these hunters just for show off or fun. Wolves have their own impacts on the betterment of the environment. They also have the right to live just like us humans.